guys! So today we're going to be doing a little bit of an unconventional video for me. I am going to be doing a clothing haul today and you guys know me, this is not something that happens on a regular basis, but as I was going through my spring and summer clothes, I noticed that there were some huge gaps in my wardrobe and honestly I've been having to do the laundry twice a week because I just don't have enough shirts to get me by. So I decided it was about time that I brought some new clothing into my life and I've been trying really hard to make sure that the clothing that I'm getting is coming from a more sustainable way of shopping, whether that's being buying from a more eco-friendly, ethical brand or whether that's shopping secondhand and just reusing the clothes that somebody else has already uh, finished getting value from. So I'm going to be sharing those with you today and yeah, everything here is either from a sustainable brand that is ethical, like, you know, cleaner fibers and also, you know, fair trade and, you know, paying people living wages, everything like that. So it's either going to be that or it's going to be thrifted. So I'm super excited to be sharing this with you guys today. So let's start off with the clothing that I bought from Everlane. If you guys are at all familiar with the ethical clothing space, I'm sure you guys have heard of Everlane. I have been eyeing some products on their website for a couple of months now. And once I had kind of decided that it was time to introduce some pieces into my wardrobe, that's when I decided to uh, pick up a few items from there. So I got three things from there, all of which are going to be great for my wardrobe. So I paid for all of these myself, in case you're curious, uh, but I just love these products so much. So the first thing that I got from them is this box crip t-shirt. It is, yeah, a little bit cropped, kind of a bit more of a boxy fit, and I absolutely love the striping pattern on this. I've been looking for a good striped shirt for a while and was super excited when I found this. It's 100% cotton, super comfortable, and yeah, I'm really excited to wear this this summer, but I also know that with a cardigan or something like that, I'm going to be wearing it throughout the year and I think that it's just a really classic style that you know is going to be with me for years. Now something a little bit trendier but it's trendy and I've actually been wearing this style for years is this uh, pink shirt that I have right here. It is the exact same cut so it is once again 100% cotton, slightly cropped, a little bit more of a boxy fit in this really cute like blush pink color and I know this color is really in right now but this color looks really good on me and I've honestly been wearing that color since I was about 12 so once again it might be a trendy color now but I know that with my coloring and the fact that it looks really good on me it's definitely a color that I'll be wearing for years to come I've always had a thing for more of the pastel shades if you can't tell from this lovely bedspread I had so uh, once again I know that it's something I'm going to be wearing for years and if you're curious, I think that the striped shirt, I paid $20 for it, and the pink shirt, I paid $15. Uh, they're both fairly thick, and so I feel like I got a really good quality for the price, and I'm really happy with both of them. The last thing I got from Everlane was this pair of jeans, and you guys, I only got these a week ago, and I was going to do an unboxing for you, but I couldn't wait. So, um, I haven't actually worn most of these yet, though, because I have been wanting to save them for the video. So I got these boyfriend jeans in the classic blue denim. I think I'm a size 26 and the t-shirts were size uh, extra small. And yeah, these were $68, so a little bit more expensive, but literally you feel the quality on these and you can understand the price so well. Uh, it's just like a really thick, high quality denim with a tiny bit of stretch, but not too much. And uh, Everlane just recently introduced their denim a, a few months ago, and it is such high quality. It is so beautiful. I really like the fit of uh, their products, and I've been looking for a pair of boyfriend jeans for quite a while, and so I was really excited when I found these. It's kind of a little bit more slim in like the hip and thigh area, and then uh, looser around the calf, which I mean, I guess is classic boyfriend jeans. So yeah. So the next thing I got in the mail I am super excited about because I don't know if I've shared this before, but I've been having a little bit of an underwear shortage. As in like, I got rid of the pairs with holes in them a few months back and have ever since then been running out of underwear on a way too frequent basis. Uh, once again, spurring my need to do the laundry twice a week. 
but uh, Organic Basics, the brand uh, recently reached out to me and was wondering if I would be interested in trying some of their products and I was like, yes, I need underwear. So all of their products are organic cotton and I love the brand and what they stand for. They are all about high quality basics, so bras, underwear, like the basic white or black t-shirt. They really keep it simple, uh, but they have really high quality products. So like I said, I literally received this from them yesterday and I'm super, super excited to try this. Um, I did notice that this is a plastic bag, but they got it from the Eco Enclosed, which is really cool because they do 100% recycled poly mailers. So they're basically just taking something that you know would have ended up in the landfill and reusing it, which I think is awesome. Now I just need to figure out how to open this thing. Okay. I can't say this is a specialty of mine. Nice. Oh, this is beautiful inside. Okay, I'm going to. Nice. Okay, so let's see here. They sent me, I think it's two sets of bikini briefs, a triangle bra, and this is all packaged in uh, cardboard. Oh, that's awesome. Even like their uh, paper bags and stuff like that are made out of recycled materials. I love this color, it's so cute. So I got, it looks like one t-shirt, one bra, and then I think it's two pairs of underwear and two pairs of black socks, which is super exciting. So since these are probably the least wrapped, let's go ahead and unwrap these guys. And it looks like they've got different sizes for these, just a simple pair of black socks, which these will be fantastic during the winter because they've got that kind of like high, uh, is it called a neck on them? Uh, whatever it is, it'll definitely keep my feet really warm. And these are, oh my gosh, super soft. I love it. Okay, so we've got the two socks. Next up, let's go ahead and look at this t-shirt. And I'm just going to rip that open. Ooh, I like it. Okay, so. Ooh, this is nice. Okay, so it's a little bit more of like a stretchy type of fit. It's mostly organic cotton with a little bit of lycra. But I love how like on the inside of all of their shirts it says uh, organic basics is sustainably crafted in Turkey um, with proud Danish design traditions. I love that. Overall, first impression is I like it. It's a good sleeve length. And it looks like it's a little tiny bit see-through, but really not that bad for a white shirt. So. I'm definitely excited about that. Okay, let's look at this bra right here. This is, I got in the rose nude color. I get most of my like bras and underwear and stuff in a nude color. Okay, ooh, I like this, I like this, I like this. Okay, so it's like a really softly padded type of uh, color and that looks like it would be really seamless. Oh, I'm so excited to try this on, I'm not a huge fan of like underwire bras, which this doesn't have. It's just really well padded, nice, good shape. And then it's got a few adjustments on the back so that you can fit it to whatever your back shape is. Ooh, I really, really like this, guys. I'm excited. I, once again, don't have very many bras. So having an extra one is definitely going to be really nice because you can rewear bras, but how many days in a row is it really a good thing to do? You know, <laughs> is this a problem for me? Okay, and then the last thing I have is these underwear. I got the bikini brief style, and once again, I got this in the nude color because um, that's a hole in my wardrobe is nude underwear. Ooh, once again, I love this. That's so nice. They've got the, um, it's got like around the edge, it's got this seamless detailing so that it's not going to give you a you know underwear line of any kind. And then it's got a really nice thick uh, hip band, which will be perfect uh, because that just makes them so much more comfortable and they rest a lot better on your body. So I think these are going to be gorgeous. I think, uh, just in case anybody's curious, I got the bra in an extra small and I got these in a small. And I think the shirt I got in an extra small as well. So yeah. I am so, so excited about these. I am probably going to try them on in a second, see how they all fit, and then maybe I'll report back to you guys. But 
overall first impressions. I'm super excited. Organic Basics did also give me a coupon code to give to you guys. So if you want to go ahead and check out the link in the descriptions, and I'll probably also put it in the comments, uh, go ahead and if you're in the market for organic, sustainably sourced basics, Definitely check out Organic Basics because, like I said, love them as a company and first impression of those products is like they all look like they're really well made and they feel awesome. So yeah, definitely go ahead and check those out. Hey, this is Ashley from ever so slightly in the future, but I just tried on the underwear and bras and wanted to report back on how everything fit and how it felt. I swear those underwear are the most comfortable things I've ever ever tried on in my life. They fit me perfectly. I tried them on with a dress and everything. Didn't get any lines or anything at all from them. And they're organic cotton. Like, does it get any better than that? Um, yeah, I'm going to be purchasing those in black too because, you know, as a girl, there's always a time of the month where you need a black pair. So <laughs> definitely in love with those. And then I have to say that the bra is super comfortable as well. I am, it's maybe a teeny tiny bit too large on me. I have a really narrow rib cage, but if anything, I feel like that makes it a little bit more comfortable. So I'm totally cool with that. And I've been trying it with a couple of different shirts to see if it would have any lines or anything like that, because as a small chested human being, it is sometimes difficult to find stuff that's going to fit you there. So I have been, yeah, testing it out and it works really well. I'm wearing it actually right now and can't see any lines really, which I am really happy about. Also tried it on with like a rose pink, uh, actually the blush shirt I just showed you and it looks good with that as well. So overall, I'm really, really happy with their shirts and basics in general. So yeah, I probably already mentioned this in this video, but if you're in the market for a good set of basics, specifically bras and underwear, they are my new favorite place to go. And if you're looking for that kind of thing, highly, highly recommend them. Let's go ahead and move on now though to some pieces that I picked up secondhand over the course of the past few months. So I just have three items here. The first one I picked up at a local thrift store. It's kind of a little bit of a nicer thrift store, so you still pay like 10 bucks for each item. But I love this dress. It's got really pretty little uh, flower detailing on it. It hits uh, about maybe like lower mid thigh on me and you can either wear it belted or with a cardigan or anything like that. It is just the perfect light summer dress and I have been completely in love with this dress over the past few months. It's originally from Old Navy, it looks like. Uh, but yeah, picked this up secondhand and I absolutely love this dress. I think it's really cute and I love the fact that it is, you know, just plain black so it looks pretty classy without having to do anything to it. But it's also really casual and just overall perfect for the summer. I've been wearing this a lot already. Um, okay, two other things that I've picked up are just some light colored shirts. So I picked this one up off of Poshmark. It's originally from Madewell, size extra small. And it is just a nice classic uh, button down, but it's in a very casual material. I love the fact that it has vertical stripes. It's also in a really casual material. I don't think it says on it what material it is, but I can tell you that in person at least, this is a very like casual, nice, comfortable material. So I've been tucking this into high-waisted shorts or wearing it with jeans on slightly cooler days. But I absolutely love this thing and I'm super excited I found it. It fits me really, really well. And I just think that it's a really flattering silhouette overall. And then the last thing that I picked up is also secondhand from Poshmark, but it's originally from Madewell. Same size actually as well, size extra small. I think these fit exactly the same because they're both the same general style. But this one is 100% cotton and it's just, you know, a really nice denim -y looking shirt. And I love that I can wear this kind of unbuttoned and throw, you know, this over a t-shirt. Or I can wear it, you know, just by itself. I've been styling it with black leggings, cardigans, shorts, all kinds of stuff. And I just really love that it's, once again, really comfortable, pretty flattering, and I have been in the market for a bit of a lighter denim, uh, 
shirt that I would be able to wear, you know, multiple seasons. This is a great like three, even four season shirt. And so I think this is definitely going to be a basic that has a lot of wear in my wardrobe, not just this year, but throughout the years. So those are the items that I've brought into my life over the past few months. As you can see, I really do try to get a variety of thrifted items that I can buy secondhand and also supporting uh, more sustainable brands. So uh, like I said, I've got links to the discount if you're looking for uh, organic or ethically made basics definitely be sure to check out Organic Basics. Uh, I'm not being paid to say any of this, they just sent me some product and I'm probably going to have to go buy some more, probably the underwear in black because like I said, I need it and if you need it, check out the uh, coupon code I have and you know, check out the brand, it's a really cool one. Anyways, I hope that you guys have a fantastic day today. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, definitely be sure to do so below. I would love it if you did. I make weekly content about minimalism and intentional living. So yeah, I would love it if you would subscribe today. And if you've made any purchases uh, that are you know ethical or more sustainable in the recent past, definitely go ahead and comment below what those items were. Anyways guys, you have a fantastic day today and I'll see you in the next video.